Hello world, I'm Cap. Welcome back to Call This Simulator Apostle S Twant, where we are delving into the new game plus mode of this game. Now last time we finished when we had just uh, made a painting, so let's actually see what we got from this painting. First of all, it managed to keep our shaper's guidance in here, which is the most important thing. Oh, we got a fascination from it. That's unfortunate since we have the thing that takes fascination right there. Uh, we got tons and tons of mystique as we usually do. We got some glimmering, we got more mystique, we got some contentment, exhausted our passions, and we got one, two, and three gold. Not really worth it. Also, at this moment, we have sent one of our people out to catch a corpse. Well, to murder a stranger. Catch a corpse sounds kind of weird. Right, and we want to use that corpse with our Shaper's Guidance in a ritual because... Uh, set a carcass block at the engine's heart, says this technique here. I mean, it does say I must enact the forge, which is a thing that I'm not really sure what it means there. But I'm hoping that uh, using the Shaper's Guidance and a corpse in a ritual will do something. Like, if it doesn't, then I'm completely lost. But uh, let's hope that uh, we're on the right track here. Oh yeah, the fascination. Oh, there already is one fascination here. Uh, so, well, that restless one will turn into a dread, and that dread will counteract at least one fascination. So we're not dead yet, but that's really not a good thing. Neville, you're still not finding out the Long's plans here. What is wrong with you? Also, we have the Orthos Woods here, so let's ask, we should probably go on an expedition to the Orthos Woods. Which requires... Forge or Moth. And it has Watchers. So Moth people should be able to deal with this. Where is our Caligini? Is it gone already? It's probably gone already. Uh, well, let's put Orthos Woods here. If we click here, we should see if the Caligini is somewhere. No, nope, it is gone. Well, we'll send moth people there. We'll send... Uh, Porta. And we'll send Isabet. You know what, actually, let's send Porta. Let's send Sylvia and Isabet, since Porter has that... Uh, oh, needed to actually put some money there as well. We'll send Isabet and Sylvia there, put the money in here. And we'll, because we might want to send uh, Porter in here. Oh, we can't put him in here anymore. Oh yeah, I guess this is done, right. He already, I think he stole some money from us. Okay, attempting a murder. So you brought us a corpse, you brought us some notoriety, you brought us some funds as well. I don't care about those notorieties, what I do care about is this corpse. Now, first of all, corpse, you are an ingredient. Okay, so we need to get, we need to find, okay, you would take an ingredient. Are you the only ritual of us that has, takes ingredient? What will you do? Renew my failing flesh with forbidden magics. I think we only need to do this if we would have like if we'd never, like, if we'd failed to deal with our afflictions, then we would want to use uh, this spell. Okay, but uh, can the corpse go in any other of our rituals? Oh, man. Oh, man, so... Well, this is not good. Huh. So we can't use the Shaper's Guidance with the Human Corpse because we do not have the particular ritual that we would need for that. Which then again means that we just need to read books until we find that ritual where we, that takes both an ingredient and an influence. Like there has to be a ritual that does that. Right. Okay, but what we should be able to raise a corpse if we add Winter and Edge here. So, if we use Winter Invocation and Edge Ingredient... Yes, we'll raise this corpse Half-Life. We'll do this just so that we don't get the notoriety from the corpse. Ok... 
Okay. Probably should have... No, no, this is an influence. It will only go into in for one slot. We will need our shapers guys to forge a Dawnbaker core from a carcass spark. To refine forge ingredients in the final form, to make a follower, the shapers come to learn the key from the Legains local and complete the work. Oh, we will need to forge the Dawnbreaker core from a carcass spark. So this tells me that... Does it tell me anything? It kind of tells me that we should already have a carcass spark going. Okay, I'm still. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm still thinking that we just need to use a cor dish and a corpse in the same ritual. Just can't figure out what ritual that would be. Like, well, I don't remember what the rituals actually do, so that's not something. That really worries me here. We'll just need to read all the books we have, and then we'll be fine. Okay, but right now I think we're gonna try to fix this wildering mirror. Ladlau, you can fix it for us. Uh, bronze, yeah, you need to read the bronze spin tray for that. We have bronze spin tray, so we're fine. Okay, we read the Thirsting Tantra. The Tantra describes how the satisfaction of thirst may allow a mortal to rise in the service of thirsting power, but warns of the consequences of rejecting those rarer thirsts for common ones. A man who thirsts, O mighty one, whose mind clings to actions in this world, will return this world of action from that other place. So we got a Ride of the Seas feasting, which I'm pretty sure we already had. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the one we're using there. And we got a Thyatic Invocation. Okay, that is very good since now we have a higher, well, higher than six g g Grail lore here as well. So we can uh, deal with that. Yeah, this is right of the Seas Feasting. Can only exist once, yet here it is twice. Right on, right on, right on. Well, let's read the next book that needs to be translated from Latin, so let's translate it first and then. Our life is going to be reading books from now on for quite a while. Okay, do we have anyone here? No. Let's send Enid in there, because Neville's been really bad at figuring out what's happening, so we'll send Enid from now on. We'll send them both. Okay, so the unfortunate thing is here that's... Okay, you took that red right there, but uh, this one is most likely going to take... That was like an instant transmission of that red. <laughs> I didn't even see it turn, like, move at all, or didn't even see that Shaper's Guidance finish is turning into a Dread before it was in here. Okay, so now we have an excessive Dread here, which means that we're going to have to get us some Opium again. Okay, I'm fine with that. What is happening here? Right, we sh Okay, you guys are there with the moth things. You should be fine. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you should be fine. At some point we should also probably start giving gifts to our people to make them stronger. Also, we should probably try to get someone in a relationship with us, because that gives them also some extra. Okay, we got some contentment here, which will go there. We have a Shattered Risen here, and right of the seas feasting. Okay, Shattered Risen, what are you? You are Winter... I just had... an idea. Maybe we can use the Shattered Risen with the core... The guidance thing. Okay, Shattered Risen, you shall be... How are we gonna keep you locked anywhere? Uh, let's see if we can make some... Spells where you are the assistant. Right, we put you here as an assistant. This harder to maintain a shadow risen than its raised one, but with enough winter aspects and enough edge, I might keep my shadow risen moving, or I might employ it to summon a greater spirit. Uh, that was trying. Well, seriously, I was trying to just get rid of this fascination. But okay, so we can use him in a ritual for sure. 
Hmm. Is there is the right of the Watchman's Sorrow the one that takes? Yeah, it takes uh, those things, lore. So if we put you here, we put. Yeah, well, let's put the Elagablan Manacle here. And let's put. Oh, we most definitely don't have enough edge here. Yes, we have. This is not really a right of renewal, more of a deferral. Winter can be delayed but not denied. Okay, so, but we know that we have this ritual where we can keep the Shattered Risen here for sure. Okay, so that's good. So we're gonna send the Shattered Risen on every expedition, and when we're not doing expeditions, we're gonna. And the Shattered Risen seems to be going to a low number, we're gonna try to renew it. Okay, so we don't need to get more notoriety. Oh, you need the bronze spin tray there. Okay, so that is a way for us to keep it around. And we're gonna just do our unskilled labor here otherwise. Oh, we could, we could also always just paint the, the Shattered Risen. That would probably give us notoriety. Okay, we translated the Irreproachable Traditions. What was it actually? The Irreproachable Traditions of the Society of the Noble Endeavor. The members of the Society of the Noble Endeavor adopted noble names at their initi initiation. Possible Roland Oisin. They drew their inspiration from the leashed flame, which gave the island of Britain such appalling power in some histories. One Samuel Podge, which has chronicled their efforts. Their endeavor was no less noble, a furious arcane conflagration which would refine them into something more than human. But such transformations are rare, and they often ended less nobly in ashes. Okay. Why can't we send anyone here? Well, it's not the time yet. Okay, you are gonna go away, yes, and if you're prob... Are you gonna go away as well? Oh, you're gonna go as well. Nice, so we don't have to deal with those things. Do you guys know anything? No. You know what? Let's send Neville there as well. Maybe we'll figure out something and then we'll send someone to try to delay it. The Lightlock fix the Wildering Mirror for us, so now we can dream on the Peacock's door with the Wildering Mirror. In my dreams, I know the path through the glass garden, the peacock's door, the most admirable of doors, the door which shines like a mirror. Perhaps with the right resources, I can pass it. The peacock's door reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It arches, aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. Hey, we should be speaking to someone about something. Why aren't we speaking? What should we speak about? With who? Uh, well, we should probably take those two pawns as disciples for sure. Keep the mysteries of making here. Oh, Shattered Risen, go here! So that your timer won't move. Okay, oh, we could have painted you as well. Or just tried to paint you better. And nah, we'll just do manual labor. Because we are like a mountain. Okay, and you guys seem to be doing well there. Yes. Uh, what's going on here? I'll get some vitality. You. Okay, we actually get a report from a spy this time. Good. Read this uh, book here. Partridge claims to have identified consistent features among those who ascended. All of them had passed the stag door and were accounted no. All of them spoke the Kaladet invocation or a greater right at the start of their ascension, and all of them were rich. An ardent horizon. Yeah, well, if this is for forge things, for, for forge victory, it takes money. Like, every time you get the exotic cravings, you need to put money in it to get your marks to grow higher, which is actually the easiest way to win, because for the other stuff you get to put lots more effort into it. With a forge, you can just do it with money. Right, uh, next book. I need to translate it from the Greek. So let's uh, do the translation then. Oh! The wrong kind of attention coming up again. Well, that's not good. With my luck, it's gonna grab this notoriety that has like 20 seconds left here. And that is annoying. 
we'll just keep making money. No, you grabbed some Mystique. Oh, right, I have tons of Mystique here as well. You guys, yeah, you guys are doing well there. And you are trying to attack to our dreams, and dreams we could protect with Winter or Moth. Mm, let's put Violet in here. See if she could delay it. All oh, right, we went through the peacock door. I was like, what? What, what am I even dreaming? Like, my memory really isn't that good. Okay, so we could find Vagabond's maps from both of these places. From the museum, we can find two things that turn into dread. Like, we can find actual dread or we can find a winter influence, which will, of course, turn into dread. And from the red church, we can find fascination or something that I think turns into fascination. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll get. I think the red church is the safer option. No, oh, I should have gone to the museum. Oh, with a favor from authority that we can do nothing with it, really. Each of the stained glass windows of the red church is devoted to a distinct ap appetite. And the scenes they show off from life. Last night, in one of the uglier windows, I saw the appetites a certain public figure satisfied in private. I know he won't want this information made public. Perhaps he'll show me some consideration. Right, and our mirror gets broken, so we need to fix it. We should probably fix this cracked noonstone at some point as well. Then we could give it to, like, Pope. Okay, and we promoted this guy a sturdy disciple edge fellow go here then we shall get this pawn in our cult as well or he's already in our cult we shall make him into a disciple as well and is there anything else we really want to do right now not really okay you are grabbing come on grab mystic grab mystic oh yes you grab mystic nice More physical labor for us. I mean, as soon as this notoriety is gone, we can paint another painting as well. Okay, so let us read Against the Sisterhood of the Knot and the Foulness of Their Depraved Customs. Hieronymus Pseudo Hypnerotomachus wrote this furious screed about the sinister influence of the Sisterhood on his own Church of the Unconquered Sun. Hieronymus claims that the power served by the Sisterhood of the Knot made an arrangement. The Thunderskin loved the Yew and the Grail destroyed him as restitution for the destruction of the Axis loved ones. Hieronymus' writing becomes incoherent with rage at this point. Because we are too many, yes. Distant light. Our enemy has set a candle in the High Mantis window. Its light will infiltrate our dreams. It doesn't sound good. Okay, and now this guy is also a disciple. So I think it's time now to see if there is still someone we can get into our cult. I really don't think there is, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, there might be a third grail person. Don't really know who it would be. I feel like we have all the cultists here now working for us. Just get a try it though. What? You just managed to catch the notoriety? Oh no, no, it still had a minute. Oh, had you taken the mystique, that notoriety would have gone away. Oh well. The memory of crows. A root coils around an egg of lead the size of a child. Perhaps it was plated with another metal once, but the weather has removed all trace of any coating. After a struggle, the halves of the egg come apart to reveal its content. Where even were we? Like, <laughs> uh, I'll think if I'll check my notes, I'll remember. Oh yeah, we were at the Fermier Abbey. Right. So, we'll find... Uh, into mountains as upon the plain there may not be a path where none has passed. Found a dabbled mask, which is a level 
8 moth tool. Found some lithi, which is a level 8 uh, moth ingredient. And we found a whispering amulet, which is a level 2 moth and the grail tool. Interesting. Right, so double mask was... No, actually pretty much all of you were... Moth stuff, except you were both. There's a book. Right, Shattered Risen. Do we have... Oh, it's a season of suspicions coming up. Okay, let's... Uh, research another Forgotten Chronicle. I think we're gonna paint the Shattered Risen next. Hieronymus recovers his composure eventually to describe how the Thunderskin entered the mansions through the peacock door. This, Hieronymus insists, is ab abomination upon abomination, but then that most abominable of doors has always been an abomination. And we got a forbidden epic. Okay, and uh, next up the Tantra of Worms, which needs to be translated from the Sanskrit. Okay, so you gave us... Okay, so that gives us fascination. Where did this notoriety come from? Alright, we just did an exploration... Ex expedition. That gives notoriety. Uh, oh, we have a fleeting reminiscence here. For... 0 0.0 seconds that will help us get rid of this fascination. Nice timing there. Okay, no one's here. We'll send in it there. And yeah, we'll just keep working. No, no, no. We want to paint, 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 paint. We'll paint with uh, passion. All of our passion. And we'll paint the Shattered Risen. An unusual portrait. The suppression bureau will likely take an interest. Well, they're already taking quite a lot of interest in us, so it doesn't really matter. An acquaintance. Okay, so now we'll see. If this is a case of mistaken identity, then we will already have everyone, and we don't need to do this ever again in this game. It's okay, you're probably making some evidence there now. And we found the unnumbered stones. Okay, which is the place that we can find over and over again. So it's time to move on to the Forbidden Epics then. And we could probably go to the Unnumbered Stones as well. But according to my notes, we want to get paints from there. And uh, I don't know if we want to paint that much. Since this painting's... Yeah, this painting's going to give us some notoriety already. Oh, crap. We're going to get... Notoriety's going to be our downfall for sure. I get a consentment from there, which is always nice. And did you? Yeah, you made evidence. So we're gonna have to send someone to get rid of that evidence. Get a season of sickness coming up. And uh, okay, let's just collect all. We got one notoriety, one fascination, some glimmering, and some mystique. Yeah. Hmm. Still no sign of uh, no sign of exotic cravings here. Uh, okay, so we probably want to renew the shattered risen now, or no, we really don't need to. We can wait until this thing comes, and we'll send the shattered risen there, regardless of what it, what's the place, and what is required of us uh, there. So we can work on well, we'll work on our physic then, or with our physic. Since I really don't want more notoriety and uh, glimmering and mystic and fascination hanging around here. Okay, yeah, it's a case of mistaking identity here. Okay, so this means there are no more people we can get into our cult. Which is very nice to know. So what shall we speak of then? What will we use this verb for? Also, we should probably do these commissions instead of just talking about them. Then again, we don't really need to... Oh, we need to combine these things to make the higher level of stuff. Yeah, that's what we need. do need to do. Also, we need to fix that Wildering Mirror again. 
We have one bronze spin tree here. Right! We get spin tree from doing this, so that's really why we want to do these commissions as well, so we can keep fixing our wildering mirror. So Poppy, what you do you are not uh you don't teach us any language. You would teach us Greek, Jennings, you would teach us Latin, and you would teach us Aramaic, but we don't really need any of you guys for that, so we don't need the spin tree for that. So yeah, we can have a uh, Lila just fix the wildering mirror with the sprint tree, and then we can dream of the peacock's door once more. But what I really should have done is I should have sent one of my, our moth people to get rid of this evidence, but of course I forgot that. Okay, so what did we find? A Tower Revec. In Tower Revec we need Heart and or Grail and Lantern or Knock. Now, these are not things that the Shattered Risen has, but the Shattered Risen is still gonna go here. Okay, we'll put the funds in here. And Heart or Grail. No more Heart people, so let's heart, send Heart there. And Lantern or Knock is the next thing. So we'll send Lantern people out there then. Okay, let's uh, do these commissions here. Get us. Yeah, and then we'll just speak to the people about them. We don't really need to uh, wait, keep them around for. Or do we? Well, what happened? Oh, it's auto save again. Yeah, for this thing. Right, right, right. We need to start. Maybe I should just focus on that. Okay, let's think about this. How many Forbidden Epics do I need if I want to get them to level. 12. No, what is the level? It's not 12, it's 14. So we need two to get to level... Okay, well, let's think about this. Okay, no, no, I, I'm gonna take a calculator out and try to actually think about this. Because uh, for level 14, we need two of the level 12s. And for those, we need two of the level 10s. And for those, we need two of the level 8s. So we need eight forbidden epics to make this just with if we want to do it with just the forbidden epics. It's probably easier if we just dream on uh, the peacock door with the mirror and hope to find some of those vagabonds maps. So we're not going to need that many forbidden epics. But basically, it tells me that every time we are not able to dream on the peacock's door right now, we need to be dreaming on the stack door so that we can find some of these Forbidden Epics or Forgotten Chronicles. No, let's just say Forbidden Epics so that we can upgrade them. Yeah, that's what we need to do. The worms have always been eager to inhabit us. Here are the practices which make us inhospitable to them. There are diagrams. The diagrams are not good to look upon and none of the practices they depict would allow the subject to survive. So operation of the declining sun, we already have several of those. Okay, let's read the, the Ceaseless Tantra. The Ceaseless Tantra. The avant-garde choreographer Nicholas Kirley supposedly incorporated this Tantra into his menacing ballets. The Ceaseless Tantra is devoted mostly to warnings about the lively creatures called Percussigans, but concludes with a chant which can be used to summon them. It observes that Percussigans can be taught any dance, but they prefer only one. Okay, so this is gonna give us, uh, most definitely, that is gonna give us a ritual. Or, I, I think, I mean, how can you be definite with this game? Well, if, if you tried it, then you know, that's how about, uh, I have not, I don't remember those so well. Okay, so let's go sleep on the stack door for the reasons I just explained quite recently. Okay, do we... Okay, we know your plans. Intrigue, so... We need to send a grail person there. Saliba. Because here we need to send... Uh, what was it? Heart or grail. And this requires lantern or not. So let's send a lantern person there. Pope. And then once either one of these, well, it's the next cycle. We know which person we need to send there next. 
and you require that bronze spin tree yes so that you can fix our wildering mirror but i think we're gonna end this episode here and continue from this in the next one i'm a cop this is being called this simulator apostle asked one goodbye world thanks for watching see you next time